Oh, wow, I just finished watching the season premiere of season six. Wow, that was really good. It wasn't the best season premiere, but I quite enjoyed it. And that new Alicorn baby, Flurry Heart, that's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder what the Phantom has to say about it. Uh, what's that I hear outside? The end is nigh. We're all going to die. Well, it appears I have my work cut out for me. Whoa! Hey everyone, I'm Mayhem Prone. Today I'm going to be asking, is Flurry Heart a scam or score for the fandom? Most people would say, yes, of course he's a scam, because look at her. She's got pink, and girls love pink. She's an alicorn, and girls love the alicorns. And look at her, she's a baby. Girls love babies. So most people would say that she's just a money-making scheme and not really meant to be anything special just to make toys and stuff. But I have to bring it up. Who else has everyone thought was going to be a giant just money-making ploy? And everyone's like, oh no, the show's going to be horrible now. The world is ending. Cadence. Everyone thought that Cadence was going to be horrible when she was first introduced because they were like, oh, she's pink, she's another alicorn, she's just made to make money. But now she's practically a fan favorite because the people at Hasbro decided that they were going to make her an interesting character. She wasn't just a money-making plot because they actually made her an interesting and well-rounded character with plot development, interests, and things that made her special from all the other alicorns. And they could just as easily do the same thing with Flurry Heart. Now everything that I've stated so far is what Hasbro could do of the character of Flurry Heart, not what they've actually done so far. So we need to look at some actual examples. And for this first example, I have to bring up a video by a fellow theorist by the name of Lizard Wizard. His video will be linked down to the description. I highly suggest you check it out. It is a very good video, very well put together, and it really helped me create this video. His main point is that OP characters have no real conflict to fight in because they're just too OP. This applies to Flurry Heart because she's an alicorn baby and she can just unleash ultimate magic whenever she wants. This lack of conflict is counteracted by the fact that, spoiler alert, Flurry Heart is actually fighting against the main six or part of the episode, though it's pretty much unintentionally because she is a baby. And spoiler alert, she destroys the Crystal Heart, which brings a never-ending winter onto the Crystal Kingdom. Now, if she'd been a good guy, this probably would have not been so much of a conflict because Flurry Heart would have just defeated the bad guy with her unlimited magic. But since she's actively fighting against the main six, this creates a conflict that completely resolutes the fact that she is an OP character. And I've always found this funny that during the season premieres and finales, the main six have gone up against super crazy villains like... Starlight Glimmer, Chrysalis, T-Rex, Sombra, and a pink fluffy baby. Oh boy. But the main reason I really like that they added Flurry Heart is because it did one of my favorite things you can do with a character. Add to the lore of Equestria, which I really love. In the middle of the episode, after Flurry Heart has been born, Celestia exclaims that it was the first alicorn ever born in Equestria. Wait, 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 what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, Luna and Celestia weren't born al alicorns? That, that breaks everything I ever knew. Oh, oh, my whole life is a lie. What do I do? <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm okay now. I just had to pull myself back together after my he head cannon just shattered into a million tiny pieces. But it's not really my choice to decide whether the character is good or not. A poll by Equestria Daily a few weeks before the season began revealed that most people were kind of excited or at least okay with the advent of Flurry Heart being put into the series. So what do you think of Flurry Heart as a new character? Leave a comment in the section below and tell me. Go check out Lizard Wizard's analysis video on it in the description below. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone, and goodbye!